Today we are going to be demonstrating how to adjust and set limits for the Sophia motorized drapery system. Given the custom nature of our products, not all installation scenarios are going to be the same. This video focuses on a generic limit adjustment scenario to help you understand how the limits work and the process for making the necessary adjustments. Before demonstrating the actual limit setting procedure, we are going to briefly explain some of the components we will be working with. This is the Sophia drapery motor. In some cases, it's best to remove the motor to expedite the limit setting process. To remove the motor, you will need to compress the bayonet clip and slide the clip down. Sometimes the clip can be locked in tightly and you may need to use a screwdriver to help compress it. Once the clip has been released, rotate the motor a quarter turn with the motor label facing toward you, then pull it down off the drive gear. With the motor removed, let's take a closer look at the different motor features. Located on this end of the motor is the motor plug and the limit cap. To access the limit knobs, take off the limit cap by removing the screws holding it in place. These are the limit knobs. As labeled here, one limit knob relates to the stack side and the other relates to the close side. The stack close designation could change depending on your motor mount and stack side locations. View the information below the video for clarification on these different scenarios. On opposing sides of the motor, you will see a small window. This is the limit window. Each limit knob corresponds to the window on its respective side. You can check the status of the limits by looking at the limit gears through these windows. Notice the three small gears with a single groove in each one. For the limits to be set, these grooves must be aligned perfectly so the kill switch is enabled and locked in place. To reattach the motor, we will insert the motor drive shaft into the drive gear, with the motor sitting at a quarter turn in the same manner that we removed it. Now we slide the bayonet clip in place to lock the motor. When making any limit or motor adjustments, we always recommend using a BTX test cable. As shown here, the test cable is designed with multiple connection points, making it compatible with most BTX motors. To use the test cable, you will need to locate a power source where you can plug the test cable in. Most standard grounded outlets are sufficient. Now take the motor plug and connect it to the motor. We will now be using the switch from the test cable to operate the system. For this video, we will have the switch oriented so it matches the travel direction of our master carrier. As you can see, when we hit the switch, our stack side limit was set in the center, but our close limit is set beyond the range of our track, causing the motor to run indefinitely. You can see why this happens as we zoom in on the closed side limit window. If you look through this window, you will see that the gears are not aligned, preventing the kill switch from engaging. In order to align the gears, we are going to need access to the limit knobs. If you haven't already removed your limit cap, do so now using your Phillips head screwdriver. When removing the screws, use either a manual or mechanical screwdriver. Do not use a power drill as you may damage the motor. Once the cap is removed, be sure to place it and the screws in a safe place so you do not lose them. We are now going to reset the limits starting with the closed side limit. As mentioned earlier, the limit knobs are labeled as either stack or close. Make sure you are adjusting the appropriate knob when setting your limits. One of the easiest ways of doing this is to use the test cable to run the master carrier to the location you desire your limit to be set and then stop the motor. Once the carrier is stopped where you want it, you can turn the limit knob in the appropriate direction using the information below this video to reset the limit. Since we are using a left side motor mount with a stack side left and your closed side limit extends beyond the range of the track, we are going to turn the closed side limit knob counterclockwise until the gears line up and the kill switch engages. If you notice the grooves are moving further away from each other, you are turning the knob in the wrong direction. If you set the close limit a little short of your goal, simply turn the switch on the test cable to the closed direction, push the closed side limit knob and gently turn the knob to bump the carrier slightly in that direction. When you have the limit switch set, run the system back and forth a few times to make sure the limit remains locked in place. Since our stack side limit sits a little short of where we want it, all we need to do here is adjust it to our desired location. Similar to how we just explained the closed limit adjustment, turn the switch on the test cable in the stack direction, push the limit knob, and gently turn it to bump the carrier where you want it. Run the system for one full cycle to make sure the limits are set properly.
Now reattach the limit cap and you've successfully reset your limits.